what's up everybody welcome back to the channel as you guys can see i went ahead and uh got the uh throttle body to go with the grams manifold the grams throttle 70 mil throttle body so without further ado let's open and see what we got the package is pretty nice it right here this is nice you can see already uh the stock uh throttle body it has a step up in here and this one has a transition it uh it just kind of flows straight up so this is going to give real good airflow and even on the back, the back is just straight. And the stock bottle, stock throttle body also has a step on the back too, so I can already see that this is going to flow a lot better than than the stock one, especially with that manifold. But uh, as you know, this one's 70 mil, so I had to get a bigger uh, a transition uh, 90 to go with it because you know, like I said, this side is bigger, so I I, I got a uh, three inch to 2.75 inch because this band is a uh, three inch so this is just going to go on there like that and then I'm going to have to cut the uh, the intake pipe on the stock one and fit this one in so I bought uh, also bought this 2.75 inch coupler and I got both of these off of Amazon you can get these for pretty cheap on Amazon. This one, particular one, came with the uh, clamp, so that was cool too. You can see it has the uh, the little stops right there, so it won't blow apart. So this is going to go in there like that. And then I'm going to cut the other one to fit on there, and then that'll fit to the throttle body like that. Well, let's see what else they got. They got some hardware. Instructions. Oh, they gave a sticker and this uh, guarantee for 12 months from original date of purchase. So you keep that, and you know, if anything happens, I guess you send this back to them, and I guess they'll warranty it or something. So hopefully, won't have no issues though. Anyway, uh, they also give you this little plate and I wish they would have put this plate on the manifold, but I think since I got the silver manifold, and that's the one I got because uh, I didn't see any of the black ones for sale for the price that I got it. Uh, but I'm going to see if they have one like this to go on the manifold because the one I got is like all silver, but this one, uh, I mounted my throttle body like this so this part is pointing down so i'm probably just going to mount mount that right there so the other thing is this does not come with a a, a gasket so i went and bought a, a stock gasket which of course is smaller than this and i'm, I'm going to show you guys now how i went ahead and got it to fit I had to open it up so i'll show you that now all right, you guys, I just wanted to show how to, uh, because this, the, they don't sell a, a, a gasket for this throttle body. So I just went and bought another stock gasket, which of course is smaller because it's 60 mil and this is 70. So I'm just cutting this one out. I just want to show how to do it. I just went and I used the screws that came with it and some nuts on the back and I kind of pushed them out towards the edge. And then uh, I just made, I tried to align center the gasket as best as possible too. But I want to show how to cut this because uh, I did one of these before on another project for another car. And I had this exacto knife, same thing. And I was just trying to do it one hand just like that. And I end up messing it up. I went over. So 
I just want to show how to do this. Uh, what you want to do is uh, you kind of want to, when you start, you can see I already started on this. So you kind of want to come in towards one of the nuts. And the reason is because this part right here, you can see it's it's loose. So this is being held down. So this, when you come in, it's not the gasket is not going to move. So what you want to do is uh, come in like this and get when you start cutting with your knife, make sure you're up against the uh, the body of the uh, of the throttle body. So you're cutting against the wall and just kind of go down like that. Don't try to just go straight because that's how I messed up last time. And right here, just be real careful, but put your finger there so it holds it down. And then just as you're going, just kind of go down and you're kind of also pulling the blade back against the wall. Just so you can get a better cut. Because if you, like I said, if you just try to go the other way you're gonna end up messing it up and there it is another thing uh, I didn't think about it until later but what I, I don't know if you remember in the last video uh, when I did the uh, well not the last video, the video before the last one when I was putting the grams manifold in they were talking about I was telling you about that test that I saw and if I could find it I'll try to put it in the description so you guys can uh, see it but uh, they were talking about the different throttle bodies, and I think the uh, Audi 2.7T and the 2.8 are 70 mil also. And I think some people run those, but I don't know if they bolt up the same. But a thought is you might be able to just get, go get one of those gaskets. As a matter of fact, I'll probably check on that later. But you can just get one of those gaskets and use those and don't have to do all this. But I'll check on that later to see if that works or not. But the only, like I said, the only thing about this one is they take away that step from the inside. And this one is just real smooth. So you're just going to get real good airflow out of it. And I just went with this one because the way the uh, throttle body opening is made is is matched to this so it's going to flow a lot better like this and this is like not too big for the for the 1.8 not too small so this is just I, I i really like it i think the only other thing i would have done was rolled this edge right here and i did that on my uh, 2.7 t throttle body but i'm probably just gonna because i want to get this stuff installed i'm probably just gonna run it like this and then maybe i'll roll the edges later but I just want to get, show you guys about the gasket and, you know, so you know what to do when you get it, if you get it. All right, you guys just want to show a, a comparison between the two throttle bodies before I installed this one. As you can see right there. Then I put a little bit of a sealant on this gasket just on the four edges right here, just a little bit. To hold the gasket in place because I trimmed it so close so it wouldn't be misaligned when I install it. It will move a little bit if you don't. This is the other side. Yeah, you can really see the difference here. Matter of fact, look. <laughs> that one actually fits in there. Other than that, there somewhat identical i mean all the hookups are the same and everything so oh and i got that part on the side because i'm gonna try to mount it like that right, i just want to show that comparison let me uh start with the answer oh one other thing uh you can see this throttle body has this port right here for this line going to the uh evap valve in this car in this uh vacuum canister which this one doesn't have so you're you're gonna have to find another uh another vacuum port for this probably i'll probably just tee off onto this one on the bottom for now until i get the tune done but uh let me get to the install and then we'll come back all right you guys got throttle body on uh you can see where i got this there's uh 
two holes around there for a bracket I took out so this whole thing will be able to move. And that was just so I can get this uh, lined up. So, I, you can see I put the coupler in here already. So, you can see where it lines up right there. And so I'm just gonna make the cut. Cause you can see I got that, uh, this coming off of the side of the hole. So I gotta cut it above that. So I think I'm gonna try to cut this like right at the end of the 90. So I'll have some adjustment for this if I need to, and then just go from there. And to make a straight cut, I'm just gonna put a clamp around around this hose straight, and then just take like a razor knife and cut around that so I get a straight cut. But uh, I'm about to do that, and I'll get right back with you guys. All right, I just made the cut. You kind of see this kind of lines up. If, I, let, I didn't cut this side or this side, so I have room to adjust if I need to. So I can, you can see I got this pushed back over the thing already. But uh, I could probably trim some off of that if I need to. If that, you know, if the pipe is going to be bent or anything, then I can adjust here. I can also adjust here too, though. But uh, let me get this in. Let me get right back with you guys. All right, you guys, I got it in there. You see the pipe kept its shape. I could probably still cut this a little shorter, but I want to stay away from that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it probably leave it like this for now, and then I could trim it later if I need to. But cut it right at the end of the 90 on the other pipe, and you can see everything lines up. It looks good. Oh, let me show you though the uh, the uh, 2.75 inch was big for this particular pipe because I watched another video where somebody did this and they used uh, 80 to 70 mil which is 3 inch to 2.75 but you can see it really stretched that out and it was hard to get that in there but uh got it in there and then the good, only good thing about this let me show you let me a second let me get this off of here is that you can see it opens the pipe up some so instead of uh you know being uh well this probably this is probably about two two and a half inch probably so some of you guys might want to get like uh for this one get a three to two and a half if you don't want to fight with the stretching this out but this is an aftermarket uh, G plus hose that I got off of uh, eBay. And I think maybe like the uh, Forge or maybe some of the others might be a little bit bigger. Like I said, they do stretch. It was hard to stretch it, but they do stretch. But uh, maybe you could try three inch to two and a half instead of three inch to 2.75. But I like it because like I said, it really opens it up right there so you have more of a longer transition going into the throttle body but let me get this together i'm gonna get right back with you guys all right you guys we all in there i think i'm gonna uh, end up trimming this back a little bit so it uh you know it's further away from the back i mean it's not touching anything or nothing but I, like i said i might end up uh moving this battery to the trunk anyway so that might not even be an issue but uh everything's in there uh i had to reroute this and then i put the fuel pressure regulator to its own uh vacuum port so there won't be any issues with it at all but i'm going to be deleting some stuff too i'm probably going to end up deleting this so you know so it's out the way because see it comes off of this hard one all the way over here to this so I may end up deleting that probably. Uh, but uh, let's run the throttle body adaptation and we'll take it out for a ride right now. Take it out for a little test drive. You guys don't pay any attention to all the uh, junk right there in the car. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna go to VCDS. Hit select so we can choose the engine module. And this laptop is old, man. I need to get a new laptop. 
So we go to engine. So we want the engine control module. As soon as the doggone thing opens up. There we go. So we go to basic settings over here. Then we're gonna go to group 60. You can just hit 060. And we're gonna hit go. And I think you need to let it go for like uh, 30 seconds or something like that. Well, I hope this is right. I know it's group 60. Oh yeah, that's, it's moving. Just cause it's a big old throttle play. I just saw it move a little bit. Then you don't touch the pedal. And I, I think I heard that you're supposed to do the throttle body adaptation when, uh, when the car is cold. I know the computer says it needs to be between, the cooling system needs to be, uh, engine temp needs to be between five and 95 degrees Celsius, I think. So, probably just warmed up, if anything. So, I'll probably do this again later. Let's see if we can hear, hear it moving or anything. I doubt it. I think it does it, like, for a few seconds when it first starts up. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. That What you guys are hearing is the uh, this coolant pump down here. The auxiliary coolant pump. All right, then you hit switch measuring blocks so you can go back, close it out. We'll just start up and see what happens. y'all i'm back uh there were some codes in here for the throttle body so the first time i did this you're supposed to go in and clear any codes so when i started when i turned the key on of course the throttle body is gonna when you turn the key on anytime the throttle body is gonna move so the mistake i did was when i went in the first time to do the uh, measure it didn't uh it didn't, I didn't clear the code. So I just did it just now. And I saw the values go back down. I redid the throttle body position and it, and it went down. So we're gonna try to start it again here in a second. I did hear the throttle body move and everything. So it should be good now, hopefully. So I think it's like 30 seconds and then. Go back out. Go back. Check for codes again. No codes. So I think we're good now. Close the controller. Wait a few seconds. There we go. Sounds good. So that was my mistake, y'all. I didn't erase the uh, fault codes because Initially when you put this in and plug it up and then when you turn the key on The car, you know, it's a new throttle body. So it's not going to recognize the values or anything So you have to immediately when you're doing the uh, adaptation You have to immediately do the uh, Go into the engine control module and erase all the fault codes then do the throttle body adaptation So that was my fault Good. Let's take this for a drive right quick. You guys 
just bear with me. I'm trying to do all this with like one hand. And even though we did the throttle body adaptation, you know, it's a bigger throttle body. So the car is still gonna be adapting probably over the uh probably over the next week or so maybe sooner or maybe later i don't know but and then again it's gonna do it once i uh once i do the uh oh man man it's a way stronger pull on the takeoff now wow Man, I can imagine how this is gonna feel with the tune. Wow. I can feel the difference, y'all. I didn't think it was gonna be like that. I thought it was just gonna feel like a, a little bit smoother or something because it's a bigger throttle body, but. Like it take, took some of the lag away too. Wow, it feels like I got more low end torque. And I thought of anything, because it's a bigger throttle body that it probably would have took away low end torque. But feels like it added low end torque. And that's why I'm, I'm glad I used the uh, the 2.75 uh, 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 coupler because it's a better transition going from uh, a larger hole to a small, you know, from smaller hole to a larger hole of the three inch throttle body. It's a better transition. So it's a smoother transition actually. It's not so abrupt going from the 2.5 Dude, this feels good. So I don't know, I was telling somebody that I wouldn't do this on a stock KO3, but I think if you go through the trouble of uh, doing the uh, manifold and the uh, and everything else, I say go ahead and do it. Man, I'm telling you, it feels like I it feels like I got about an extra 25 horses from this. Like 20 or 25 just from doing. It feels like I couldn't tell for sure unless I dynoed it, but I thought I thought I was gonna have like a little bit of lag and lose some uh low end torque, but it feels feels like the opposite yeah so this was a good mod because uh i was thinking because the uh the space of the uh the port of the uh what you call it the manifold is a lot bigger that the uh the space for the uh you know, it's a smoother transition for the throttle body and everything. So it just made sense to do the throttle body to me after looking at everything. And being that the throttle body doesn't have a, a, a step in it, like the uh, rate, like the stock throttle body is a plus two. So yeah, this was uh, worth it. I, I, Y'all can hear it. I'm kind of surprised and ecstatic. But it's good anytime you go through a lot of work doing a mod, you know, because sometimes it's a headache getting stuff, you know, trying to install stuff and getting it in there. And then, you know, you're not getting that much benefit from it. But this is going to be good with the uh, the, the uh, Matoza tune. So I just need to install the... Uh, the bigger math, the three inch math, and that's not nothing hard, so I probably won't even film that because I'm gonna use this same heat shield until I find 
another interview. I'm probably gonna go with the Cloud Nine. I've been trying to contact them, but they never got back to me. So, and there's a few other items I want to order from them, but I'm gonna try to get in contact with them again. But uh, now I'm ready to uh, install the wideband ECU and do the tune. So today is Thursday. So I'm gonna probably ready to do everything probably by Monday. I'll probably work on installing the wideband this weekend and then be ready. But anyway, y'all, uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I like it. I really like it. This is, this whole thing is worth it. I say do it. I almost say even do it on a stock turbo now. At first I was like, I would probably wouldn't do this on a stock turbo. I probably still wouldn't. I probably would do all the other mods first and then do this and then, you know, then go from there. But, uh, so I would say on a stock turbo, probably do this part last, but it feels good, man. I, there's a big noticeable difference from doing this with the throttle body. Cause I'm telling you, running this with the stock throttle body and then running this with this throttle body, big difference, man. With the uh, 70 mil throttle body, big difference. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. I got some more stuff coming up. I actually need to do some interior stuff and then I have another set of tail lights that I'm going to be modifying so I'll probably do some short videos on those coming up and then I'm going to look in what all I have to do to install the wideband and talk to uh, Matoza soon so you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.